I'm Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News and welcome to this edition of the Out the Box series. Um, this is a quick look at uh, what you get in the box for a specific item um, or firewall accessory. It's not meant to be a technical overview um, but it should give you an idea of actually what you get in the box. There's plenty of stock images out there um, so hopefully uh, this will give you a little bit more of a tangible experience of what you can expect in the box. So today we're going to be looking at the 40Net 60D. Um, a multi-purpose uh, firewall unit, good throughput. Um, as with um, all of the 40 nets, um, it is quite port dense uh, when it comes to the actual switch ports that it has. Um, and the new feature that's just come in 5.4 with uh, virtual um, wire pair um, makes it great for doing specific pass-through, um, wire taps and various other options that you, you might want um, to have a look at. So let's have a look. Um, this is the box. Um, it's again, it's a small form factor um, desktop uh, unit and we just have a, a quick look in what you're going to get. You get um, your normal packaging comments, uh, you get a, a quick start informational guide, uh, none of the bits that you probably want to keep on. Uh, quite nice uh, full set, uh, quick start uh, setup guide there. Um, the physical unit in here we'll have a look at in a moment, I'll just pop that to the side, um, get a Australian power cable or a power cable for your region, obviously we're in Australia, uh, a nice long patch cable again one and a half, two meters in length, um, and you do get a few other accessories here in the bottom of the box. Uh, so we have um, the power adapter, uh, this is a, a clover leaf. Uh, if you can probably see that there, um, shaped in that format, so slightly different to the IEC. Um, just trying to use my fingers a little bit more, it's the same difference to IEC, so the clover leaf. Um, but like I said, you do get an adapter for that. Um, and again, like many of the vendors, we'll have a look at that in a moment, has a, a good clip in uh, option. Um, so once you've actually clipped this in the power cable won't fall out of the back of the unit so even though this is a desktop unit put on a shelf doesn't really matter in your rack push it to the back and you know when you bring it forward at least the power cable is not going to come out um, and then you get a USB um, to micro USB or mini USB connection um, there which is part of the management side of things so we'll have a look at um, how that fits in there in a moment so let's have a look at the unit itself Let's unpack this for you. If I can find out where it is, here we go. Let's just remove the factory seals across here. So people do question whether we do this with new units or units we have recycled around, but as you can see, um, a brand new unit. So this is uh, the front of the 40 net, uh, 40 gate. This is a 40 gate made by 40 net uh, 60D. Uh, then on the back, like I said, port dense for a small um, desktop unit. You can see that we've got 10 ports in there in total. Um, so we have two WAN, two that are configured there as a WAN interface. Um, you've got one there that has the designation of a DMZ um, and the rest are um, switch ports. Now you can configure all of these ports up pretty much to do what you want. So out of the box, this is the setup, but it is a dual um, WAN setup. You then have um, a USB port that you can see, um, which obviously you can add a, a range of other accessories onto. Um, and you do have a USB management uh, port there, which is what this cable uh, here is for. And you do have the standard console cable in the, the front there, or sorry, console connector. With these models, uh, you don't actually get the cable, the management cable that comes with it uh, on some of the uh, newer ones you do. So again, just to show you the um, connection, you can see that once we have plugged this in, it is securely connected. Uh, so you can put that nicely to the back of the rack um, and not worry when you bring it forward um, of the power actually coming out. So that's really a look, 10 ports, so two WAN, eight ports, uh, one gig ports, there are eight one gig ports on the back there. Um, this is the 40 gate 60D. 
I'm Paul Sillers, Firewall News and Firewalls for now.